And while voters in the UK overwhelmingly elected the centre-left Labour Party, France is now facing the possibility of a far-right government. With the latest on the politics across the ocean, let's bring in CTV's Jeremy Sharon. Jeremy, good morning. Was the UK election a result as analysts had projected? Good morning. Yes, uh, you know, there's no real surprise this morning, at least not when it comes to uh, who was victorious in the UK's election. Uh, Keir Starmer and the Labour Party uh, coming out with a landslide win, really. The only thing that perhaps has many uh, taking a second look this morning is the margin uh, at which that the Labour Party and, and Keir Starmer, uh, now Prime Minister uh, of the UK, uh, won. It was uh, quite a landslide victory for the left-leaning Labour Party. Um, they gained more than 210 seats uh, in, in this election, um, getting more than 400 seats in total, uh, well over the 320 needed for uh, to form a majority government. Uh, and the Conservatives, Rishi Sunak's Conservatives, although Rishi Sunak has now uh, stepped down, uh, lost uh, more than 250 seats in this election. So a massive swing election after 14 years of Conservative government in the UK. Um, we now see a, a massive shift. Uh, the polls were indicating that we would see uh, exactly this. Again, the only surprise perhaps this morning is by just how much uh, the Labour Party uh, took, uh, took this win. Okay, so Jeremy, domestically in the UK, what could we see changing there? But more importantly, perhaps as Canadian audience, internationally, what could change under a Starmer government? Yeah, I mean, there's a few things that a Starmer do government does here. Uh, you know, there are massive face, uh, massive challenges internally, uh, domestically, uh, that the UK is facing. Um, and that's why we've seen a change election here. Uh, people in the UK were frustrated. There were certain things um, that, they, that they wanted to see change. They're dealing with economic struggle in the UK. There is serious distrust in, in the institution. Um, and the country is in social malaise. And so um, these are kind of the main challenges uh, challenges that the incoming uh, Labour government will have to face. Um, that is why they were elected, because these are the things that people were frustrated with. They will be tasked with trying to fix these problems. That's what people are expecting. So that's what we can see domestically. When it comes to internationally, when it comes to you know what this means for countries like Canada, it's, it's a huge shift. Uh, you're now looking at the UK um, and dealing with a government that is left-leaning versus right-leaning in a conservative government um, that we had seen for 14 years in the UK. Uh, and so co other countries, other states will uh, take a different approach when it comes to mm -hmm. relations with the UK now uh, that we see this party a little bit more left-leaning, although Starmer's success came by bringing the party a little bit closer to centre. There is also hope um, here in Canada that this could renew talks for a free trade agreement. So it means a bit of a, of a reset when it comes to strategy for other countries um, in terms of dealing mm. uh, with, with, with their dealings with the UK. All right, that is CTV's Jeremy Sharon live in Ottawa for us. Jeremy, appreciate this. Thanks so much.